Water movement in the drainage system has two parts. First part is water movement through the soil into the drain pipes. This is known as drainage intensity in units of inches per day. And you can see in this graph. Drainage intensity depends on drain depth, drain spacing, depth restrictive layer, saturated hydraulic conductivity of the soil, and pipe material. The second part is water movement through the drainage pipe network. This is known as drainage coefficient in units of inches per day. And you can see in this graph. Drainage coefficient should be greater than or equal to drainage intensity for best performance. Imagine these two bottles are two farms and the sand represents the soil in the farm. The sand has a drainage intensity of 0.3 inches per day. Both farms are now saturated. Farm 1 has a main pipe that was sized with a drainage coefficient of 0.5 inches per day and Farm 2 has a main pipe that was sized with a drainage coefficient of 0.4 inches per day. Now we're releasing the water. See that both farms are draining at the same rate of 0.3 inches per day even though Farm 1 costs more than Farm 2 because of its larger main size. In this case, Water moves through the soil slower than the capacity of each main, and farm 2 is better. Now, imagine that those two farms have gravel to represent the soil. The gravel has a drainage intensity of 0.5 inches per day. Both farms are now saturated. Farm 1 has a main pipe that was sized with a drainage coefficient of 0.5 inches per day and Farm 2 has a main pipe that was sized with a drainage coefficient of 0.4 inches per day, similar to the previous farm. Now we're releasing the water. See that Farm 1 is draining much faster than Farm 2 because Farm 1 has a main pipe that was sized with a drainage coefficient that matches the drainage intensity. Farm 2 has a main pipe that was undersized so water is moving through the soil faster than the main can carry away.